hello everyone and welcome back to episode 19 in Stardew Valley. I've got up this morning, I've come down to my chicken coop and look, I've got a blue chicken. <laughs> I'm absolutely delighted. I didn't know you could get them, I thought it was only Sam that got them. So there you go. Now it was a white egg I put in. Oh, do you know, I think I'm going to do another one, just in case I can get another blue chicken. Well, how good is that? <laughs> so we're basically carrying on from where we last left off in the last episode. I've got uh, Robin, well, she should be working away down here, building me my barn, because this is going to be Pig Island. So, oh, and more red mushrooms. Right, I have a few jobs to do today. I'm going to get on with them, and then I'll get back to you. And I I'm just uh, might just stand here and admire my blue chicken. <laughs> well, I'm down at Pierre's this morning, and in search of Abigail, who I've found, because it's her birthday. So I'm going to give Abigail an amethyst. We've not got a great heart. Oh, six out of ten. So it's it's coming on. I don't think I need to buy anything from Pierre. So I think I'll just go off down to the beach and see what's been happening down there. See if I've got any more lobsters. Well, there wasn't much happening down at the beach or anywhere else in Pelican Town. So I'm back here in the kitchen. I'm going to do a spot of cooking and see if I can uh, rustle up some recipes that I haven't already done. Now, I've made myself a little graph, actually, from my achievements. Uh, I'll show you what I've done. Um, all I've done is drawn a little graph of these squares and put an X in every one that I haven't got. So it's easier when I'm looking in here to see what I've not done. And... I've not done omelette, so I'll do one of those. Uh, so I'm just going to carry on with this and see how many more dishes I can get out of the way before bedtime. Right, it's 11 o'clock at night and I've been extremely industrious in the kitchen. I've managed to make 18 dishes and I'm only wanting, I think, about six more. That's filling up nicely. I've done that one. So we've just got, I need the recipes for those. And that. And that. And that. Uh, and I've got the recipes for them. Sorry, it's just what they are. I know it's a poppy seed muffin and bread. Baked fish. That's a salmon thing. Um, so And a carp. So I need to hang on to carp and salmon the next time I get them. So this is another achievement coming along nicely. So I've been very busy, so I'm just going to go straight to bed. Well, it's Sunday afternoon and I've nothing better to do except to go over to the desert and see if I can get any of those artifacts. I can see a wiggly worm. Is this going to be the day? I can't even remember if I checked the fortune teller this morning. And more clay. And more clay. Hmm. Anything else down here? Any more wiggly worms? I see none. Oh yes, there's some here. Right, are we going to take bets on clay or mixed seed? No, nope, clay it is. Uh, I might do a spot of fishing just to earn back the uh, 500 quid it cost me to get here. So we'll see you later. Now I've popped back up to see Robin today because I want to upgrade my barn. So now, um, where is it? I'm much. A big barn is next. I don't think I've got enough wood on me. I think I'm going to have to buy some. Uh, right, so 
let's get some wood bought. How much have I got? Two, so I want at least 200 wood. Okay, alright. Got all to do. Okay, I bought a huge amount of wood because uh, I'm going to need it for my next one. So there's the barn. I don't want another silo, I think I'm fine with that. A big barn, please. And I want to upgrade this one down here. Okay, Robin, you'll start working on it today after tomorrow because tomorrow's a festival. Yep, I know all about that. Right, uh, let's go stalking Sam and Caroline, I think. Well, I found Sam and I found Caroline. So I've come back down to the river. I'm going to do a spot of fishing. I need some carp. And, oh, I should go and speak to her. Um, and a large mouth bass for two of the recipes I'm uh, needing. And this has got all the makings of carp. Oh, salmon! Oh, excellent! I need a salmon. Today might not be a bad day after all. Right, I've moved up to the, uh, the mountain river because uh, I think this is where you get the the largemouth bass and the carp. I've already got the bass and I've got one carp. I would like to get another because I want to go home and sort out all the goodies that I'm going to be taking to the Stardew Valley Fair tomorrow. But <laughs> I'm getting an immense amount of chub and I just need one more carp but I don't want to leave it much longer. It isn't vital. I can cook these recipes any other day but it would save me another fishing trip. Right, here we are down at the Stardew Valley Fair and I'm going to put my prize winning display out. I've got something of everything. Animal produce, mineral, forage, fruit, vegetable, fish uh, and everything, everything else I can think of. Now that, uh, I, as you see I brought my legend that I'm very proud of, so I'm hoping that that's going to make me successful. I'm not going to go around speaking to everyone. Well Hazel, it's the big day, our most important festival of the year, the Stardew Valley Fair. Yes, I've set everything up. Yep, I've done it. Yes. Your grace display has been judged. Return to Mayor Lewis for the result. Congratulations, you won first place with a rating of 117. Ooh. And it's a thousand star tokens. I do wish it was gold, but it's not. So I'm going to clean out my display box. And then I think I'm going to gamble the whole lot away on that wheel because you can't turn them into gold. I don't think you can. I don't think she... Uh, at this booth down here, I think you can only buy tokens. You can't sell them. Buy? No. Leave. So, with nothing better to do, let's go and uh, play on here. We'll go for green. I'm going to gamble the whole lot. What have I got? A thousand? Okay. And I'll just keep gambling till I lose them all, I suppose. Ah! Oh no, it's orange. <laughs> I've lost the lot. Oh well, you'll be used to me by now doing this. I'm going home, I'm sulking now. There wasn't anything I wanted to buy anyway. Was there? I don't know. Right, I'm off home. I've got some cranberries to uh, to gather in. I've better things to do than lose all the money at this place. 
now I was just on my way to the river to do a bit more fishing to see if I could get the carp and I've got a little cut scene here with the I think it's Abigail Hazel, why are you out here in the rain? Well, I was coming fishing for carp actually, but I, I've not got that option. So I shall say I was just doing some work. I see. I came here to spend some time alone. But I don't mind your company. That's very nice of you, Abigail. I don't mind yours either. You're getting soaked. Come and stand under the tree. It's impossible to describe this feeling, watching the curtains of rain whisper above a silent lake. Mm -hmm. Is that me trying not to laugh? Oh. Oh, it's a mini, oh, hey, a mini harp. Oh, I didn't realise I could play the mini harp. You're full of surprises, Hazel. I'm impressed. You should be impressed. I'm impressed too. I didn't realise I carried a mini harp around with me all the time. Am I going to play it? Ah, oh, that's all very acceptable. Okay, I managed to do a spot of fishing after that. I did get my other carp. I think it's just two carp I need for the recipe. There's Colin, nearly lost him again. So I'm just going to go back home and get cooking. Well, the cooking didn't go quite as well as I would have liked. I only managed to cook one dish. Um, I needed four carp to make carp surprise. Where is it? Oh, it's here somewhere. And I suppose that was a surprise that I only had two. But I did manage to make a salmon dinner. The other fish dish wants a sunfish and a bream neither of which I think I'm going to catch in the autumn so I only managed to make one but uh, and I I didn't need the largemouth bass uh, thought I did okay but at least it's one less off the uh, off the list I've got one two three four five six to go Right, I've just popped in to feed my chickens this morning and I couldn't resist letting you have a look at this gorgeous blue chicken. <laughs> I'm so delighted with it. I do hope I get more. Right, here we are back at Robin's yet again to spend more money. And this time, of course, I want the deluxe barn. Shed. The deluxe barn. Have I brought enough stuff? I hope so. And down here. There we go. Now I finally got myself that fourth and elusive carp. So there goes a carp surprise. Now you know, there's an awful lot of stuff in here that I'm not going to eat. Uh, you know, I, I just don't use them. But I suppose I'll wait till I've made all the friends and then sell some. It could be just people's favourite foods in here. Anyway, I've no room in this box, so it'll have to go into this box. Right, time for bed. Okay, we got up this morning and a nice surprise. The sweet gem berries are ready. So... This means I can, I think, complete my uh, what I, shipping achievement. So only let me sell one. 
Uh, that's all I need to sell, and tomorrow hopefully I get that other achievement. Now I've just come down to pick up some more seeds from Pierre's, and here's a little help wanted poster from Sam, who wants an emerald. I'm sure I can do that. I'm just going to pop home, pop in here, get my seeds, and then... Oh, here's Abigail. I'm going to uh, give her a present. Your hair looks cool today. Did you do something different? No, I didn't actually, Abigail. It's nice of you to say so. Have um, a pumpkin I've forgotten to bring you, and I don't think you like pink cake, so I haven't got a present for you. Sorry. Right, I've managed to locate Sam, and I've got the emerald for him. That's fine. Thanks a million, Hazel. I should have known you'd be the one to take on this job. Okay. And I will play my 750 gold reward. And I'm kicking myself because here's Sebastian, and for once I don't have that um, obsidian thing on me. Never mind. Right. Well, I have very little else to do today, so I've decided to pop down and see the wizard and give him a gift. Slowly, I'm building up my friendship here. Have you made any headway with the forest spirits? No. Have one of those. Five out of ten. It's slow going, isn't it? Right, I'm going home to pick the rest of the pumpkins and put in some wheat. Right, as expected, I've woken up this morning and I'm pleased to see that all my shipping order is done. Right, I've just come outside and yet another crop of uh, cranberries ready. I'm wondering if I will, uh, if there'll be my last one, if I'll get another one in before the 28th. We'll wait and see. I meant to mention to you that I had a baby chick hatch, um, but it's the wrong colour. I wanted blue, so I'm afraid it's going. I've put another egg in the incubator, and I won't stop go uh, trying until I get some more blue ones. Now, I was just coming back from the beach, and I've walked into another little cutscene cut with uh, Abigail. I guess you're wondering why I'm in the graveyard at this hour. Not really. Well, I'm here because it's the best place in town to find some privacy. Come in. And I'm all sweaty because I've been practicing my swordsmanship. Hey, what do you think I'm too weak to swing a blade? Sorry, I guess I'm getting a little defensive. You see, I want to explore the mountain caves, but I know it's too dangerous to go there unarmed. You're quite right. I could tell you a tale or two about the mountain caves. You've used a sword before, haven't you? Yes, and <laughs> it's exciting. <laughs> yes, but only in self-defense. Yes, but it's dangerous. You should stay safe, or no. Well, I have used a sword. Um, I can't say it's exciting, and it was only in self-defense, so I think I should go for that one. Uh, sure, I don't want to kill anyone either, I just want to do a little exploring without risking my neck. I've lived in the valley my whole life, but I've never really done anything memorable. I want to go on an adventure. Now, if I married her, I could send her down the mi mines instead of me. Abigail? Uh -oh. Dad? Uh -oh. I've been looking all over for you. Your mother wants you to come home and help with the dinner. What are you doing in the graveyard? This is no place for a young lady. Mind your own business. You think I should be at home cooking dinner? Because I'm a girl, don't you? 
You're really stuck in the past, Dad. Let's get out of here, Hazel. Well, are you coming or not? Well, I think that's going to be it for episode 19. Um, a rainy day here on the farm today, just a few jobs to do, but not a lot of uh, exciting things going on. So, thank you very much for watching. I do hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please press like, because pressing the likes now is very important on YouTube. Uh, more important than the views, I'm led to believe. So I look forward to seeing you in the next episode. I was hoping in this episode that I might have got to a 10 heart friendship with Sam. Uh, but I'm uh, heart off, I think. And I think I'm on the verge of proposing to someone. And I'll let you know who that is in the next episode. Bye.